Here's another survey problem, but this one is starting to get to the point where these Venn diagrams are going to be really helpful because if you notice, there are going to be three circles because there are really three questions in the survey. Who watches HBO, who watches CNN, and who watches MTV? So let's start by drawing the Venn diagram. And once we do, then we can get around to answering some questions. But first we need to organize this information we're given because given in text like this, is not all that useful, but once we draw a diagram, it'll be much easier to see. So we'll draw a Venn diagram with three circles. We'll call one HBO, one CNN, and one MTV. Now we're given lots of numbers here, but we're going to copy our strategy from the last survey problem because a lot of these numbers overlap with one another. So to start, we'll start at the very end with the innermost intersection. And that's always the way you'll start one of these survey problems, drawing a Venn diagram, is with the innermost intersection. So the one that links all three of them. There are 11 people in the very center. Then we work outward from there, going to the other intersection. So for instance, we can look at the intersection of HBO and CNN. If we look for that in the word problem, we see HBO and CNN consists of 33 people. But we've already accounted for 11 of them in this bottom wedge, so only 22 go here. But now notice there's a total of 33 in the intersection between HBO and CNN. This is why we have to start in the innermost intersection and work outward. But we do the other two intersections similarly. For instance, if we do CNN and MTV, that would be these 47 right here. Again, we've already counted for 11 of them, so what goes here is 36. So there's a total of 47 in that intersection. So we got 36 by taking 47 that we wanted minus the 11 we'd already counted. Just like to get the 22, we took 33 minus 11. Finally, we look for HBO and MTV, and we notice there's 42 in that intersection. So we take 42 minus 11 to get 31 people there. And we can double check these numbers as we go to make sure that that intersection has 42, for instance. Now that we've done all the intersections, we can start working outward to the rest of the circles. So for instance, HBO as a whole has 71 people in it but we've already accounted for 22, 11, and 31. That's a total of 64, right? Because we have 22 plus 11 is 33, plus 31 is 64. So there are 71 people in the HBO circle. We've already counted 64 of them though. So we take 74 minus the 64 we've already counted to get seven that are outside the intersections, but still inside HBO. Now let's do the same for the other two. For CNN, we know there's a total of 72, but we've already added up 22 plus 11, which is 33, plus 36 gives us 69. So if there's a total of 72 in CNN, and we've already counted 69 of them, that leaves three on the outside. Finally, for MTV, we know there are 80 in that group, but we've already counted 31 plus 11, that's 42, plus 36, that's 78. So if there are 80 total, we've already counted 78 of them, that leaves only two. Now, we're almost done, but all we need to know now is how many are outside all three of these circles, but still inside the universal set. And to do that, we notice that 125 people were surveyed. So we have to add up all of these numbers and then take 125 minus all of that sum. What you should find when you do that is that there are 13 people who were not accounted for inside the three circles. So this process can be tedious, but you always start with the innermost intersection and then work outward to the other intersections and then outward from there, subtracting as you go. Once we have this picture, now we can answer questions like these. 
Without the picture, these questions will be very difficult to answer, but with the picture, they're not too hard. So for instance, part A, how many watch only MTV? If we go back to the diagram, only MTV means in the MTV circle, but outside these intersections, which is just those two people. Then, how many watch CNN and MTV? That would be the intersection of CNN and MTV, but outside HBO. The intersection of CNN and MTV has these 11 and these 36, but it's the 36 who are outside HBO while still being in the intersection between CNN and MTV. So that would be 36. Part C asks, how many do not watch any of these networks? And that would be the 13 outside all of the circles. How many do not watch CNN? It might be easier to start with those who watch CNN and subtract them from the 125 total. But we could also go here and add up all the numbers that are outside the CNN circle. So 7 plus 31 gives us 38, plus 2 is 40, plus 13 is 53. And then finally, how many watch MTV or HBO? MTV or HBO is the union of those two circles, which we notice contains everything except for these three out here and the 13. So it contains everything but 16 people, which means there are 109 people inside that union because there's a total of 125 in the whole thing. So we can answer questions like these by drawing a, a diagram carefully and then carefully reading the questions and figuring out what area in what circle corresponds to each of these groups that are described.